So hello guys and welcome to a new review of a Polish individual single meal ration. This time it is the SRS treat, which is quite interesting because I think this has probably the weirdest meme that you can get in Polish rations, namely pasta and tomato sauce, which is not that weird, but with sausage. And I don't really know of any regular, let's say Italian style pasta dish that includes sausage. So that's quite interesting, kind of a Polish take on some different food in Europe. But yeah, uh, it also is different because unlike some of the other rations, the SR rations, which I think are the standard rations that people get. These are the contents of the bag and uh, let's get them out onto a tray. First up, we have the accessory package with uh, two wet wipes, the Ziploc bag, pepper salt, toilet paper, the coffee candy and the chewing gum. Uh, interesting, I'm just noting that it also is missing the vitamin C candy that's normally in here. Next up, we have the classic Panzerplatten or uh, very hard crackers. Here we have a second accessory pack. So basically what we have in here is the fireproof matches, uh, a box of regular matches, uh, two hooks, which I guess are, are used to hang up the Ziploc bags for water purification purposes. And uh, yeah, there, there we have the water purification tablet right there. Next up is the flameless ration heater. Um, these are quite good. Um, I've used them quite a lot before, so there's nothing much to it. Comes with this cardboard sleeve um, that you can put your main in. Here we have our freeze dried bananas. I, I hope these are like banana chips. They have quite a lot of uh, calories and sugar in them, so they're a nice little carbohydrate snack for in between. Then we have Wild West Beef Jerky. Quite interesting, so this is like a commercially available product, so this is not unlike the other. First off, I'm, I'm kind of hungry, so I will put the main in the flameless ration heater first. Okay, so this is now uh, heating up, and you can see this became quite uh, well, quite bloated already and it's heating up nicely. When this is heating up uh, in the main area, uh, let's try to uh, make our drink. So here's the drink. I'm gonna add some uh, lukewarm water to it. I'm gonna fill it up to, uh, well, about halfway. Uh, and now it's turning actually quite nicely, so... Just gonna take the straw. And uh, give that a little mix. Or probably it's even better to do this with the spoon. Smart thinking. Here you can see it, it's quite dark. Uh, it's almost like, well, coffee or dark tea. Really hear the flames ration here and seeing it go. Just um, for the sound. Okay, and yeah, um, I'm, I'm most curious about the uh, freeze-dried bananas. I think that's pretty interesting. Yeah, that's it's quite uh, it's quite a lot actually. It's uh, 15 grams, but um, decent chunks. Here we have the special biscuits. So just get those opened up. Then we have our fig bars. We have the lime bar. Here you can see the um, consistency and the rice paper. And here we have the pear bar. The difference between these is really the, just the flavoring that they added or a little bit of fruit but they're not substantially any uh, any major differences in there and here we have our wild west beef jerky hmm it smells amazing yeah this is like uh, wow this is kind of exciting it smells 
really really good so uh, very happy that they included this I think this is so much better than like having a can of like meat paste basically so let's add that here and yeah that looks um, like uh, quite a little actually like this so let's open up this little um, survival accessory package we have here. So you have matches, I guess in case you need a fire, even though it comes with a flameless lashing heater. And then we have two of these hooks, which I presume is to put the bag as a water purification thing. You see also on the bag, there's the one liter mark. You, you even get two of them. That's kind of weird to me. I don't know if this would be extremely useful. You also have a napkin. Quite um quite a large napkin actually you got. It can uh, it can double as a white flag I guess like this. It's kind of uh, kind of a lot. And here we have the other accessory pack. Here we have our coffee candy. We don't have any other kind of warm drinks besides the uh, the instant tea. The chewing gum, Zidi tools chewing gum. Then we have two fresh uh, napkins instead of one. These are kind of flimsy though, so perhaps that's why. While we wait, let's try um, some of the um, well beef jerky, like relatively big chunks of beef. Um, they, they really do smell great. It's good. It's chewy. Uh, it's a little bit spicy actually, and uh, great flavor. So definitely an upgrade over the SR rations. It is kind of um, kind of salty, so it immediately made me thirsty. Uh, it's also dried, so it takes the um, the moisture sort of out of your mouth. Uh, this became a self-contained drink, basically, and uh, sort of like a juice box. Hmm. That tastes better than I uh, remember from the last rations. I wonder if it's a different uh, different composition, or perhaps I put a little bit less water in, so the flavor is more concentrated. The flameless ration heater is uh, sort of done. But before we continue, let's try a bite of the uh, fruit bars. Uh, let's smell which one is which because it's hard to tell from just looking at them. So I think this is the lime bar and uh, let's try. But actually much more of a subtle lime flavor. So um, I'm wondering if there's any difference between the manufacturers of these rations. Uh, this ration is made by Moosley Clex versus the other ones are often made by Arpol. But um, yeah, this tastes a lot less chemical to me than the previous one or perhaps this is just a better preserved ration that's also possible here we have the pear so this was my uh, my favorite hmm. it does take a good time to chew but um, again I think that's part of the, um, the role in them, of them in this ration because uh, it really gives you something uh, to do while you wait for your menu uh, which as well, it is still very warm and it's still a little bit like um, well steaming, but there is no more basically um, noise coming from it. So I think this is uh, about as done as it will get. Um, well, well, we have the crackers. These are in uh, a good condition, so they're much much better if they're fresh. And if they're still, they become a lot harder, and I think that's actually why they got such a bad reputation. If they are fresh like this, they are not so bad, and I actually started to like them. We have the main, it bulged up a little bit, but I, I hope that's not a problem. And yeah, and see how tomato sausage pasta looks like. It's still too hot to really hold. You can definitely see some, uh, some fat on there. Looks quite nice. The um, the noodles are the same as you have in uh, the spaghetti bolognese, and we have actually the same sausage, I think, as well as that we had in the bigosh. Here you have it. It's black around, and it's kind of a fine ground sausage. Normally they're a bit coarser in Poland. Here we have a bite with everything. So the pasta, sausage, and the tomato sauce. Like the sauces. Almost a little bit of a broth type consistency. It's uh, I mean it is sauce, but there's quite some uh, some water in there. It's super enjoyable actually. Real comfort food. Now it's a little bit less full. You should be able to get a close look of what we have. Since we have no spreads, let's uh, put some of the crackers in. 
This is actually requiring a bit more force. I'm hopeful that the, um, the cracker adds some texture to the dish. So yeah, all in all, it was a pretty good main. I uh, really enjoyed that. Let's um, wash it away with a little bit of the forest fruit tea. So with this, um, I'm gonna first try the bananas by themselves. Um, I already had a few, I cheated a little bit. So this is how they look like. They're, uh, they're not like banana chips like you buy in the supermarkets. Uh, there's no actual sugar in this at all. This is pure banana flavor. It does taste a little bit off. Like there is a little bit of a funk to it that it's hard to describe. But what we can do, we can try and add some water to this to rehydrate them. So yeah, now I'm adding some water. Rehydrated nicely, but now it just turned into a mush. It's like if you would have a very overripe banana and you just smash it with um, with a fork. You can probably put this on the Panzer cracker or the uh, biscuits and see how that goes. It looks semi-appetizing or not at all? Probably not. <laughs> but hey, let's try. Nope. No, I did not save it. Oh well. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Um, as you can see, I kind of enjoyed this ration. Um, it was uh, good, good food, good comforting food. Definitely prefer this over the SR rations because I think they have components that I normally would not uh, really eat or finish. Uh, and that is the well, luncheon meats. I would not really uh, finish those and I think the second pack of crackers uh, I would only really eat if if necessary. Mm, versus here, the extra cereal slash fruit bar, very easy to eat. The beef jerky, extremely easy to eat. And um, yeah, I think those are better replacements. Also interesting that it has two hooks. Still don't know why. If you know it, leave it in the comments. Uh, I presume it is for water uh, purification and putting up a bag. Um, but then I don't really know why they have two them. Thank you again for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for my next reviews on Polish military rations. I think next time I'm going to do a 24 hour ration. So if you have any preferences or mains that you want to see from the Polish rations, please let me know because uh, I live in Poland and it's quite easy for me to find them. So yeah, anyhow, have a great day.